In this video, we're going to learn how to create this smooth text animation in Premiere Pro. The first thing we need to do is to hit T on our keyboard to enable the text tool. Then just type out your text on the screen and when you're done, double click on the text layer on your timeline to open it up in the Essential Graphics panel. The Essential Graphics panel should pop up right here and this is where we can stylize the text to our liking. Now for this example, I want the text to be center aligned so I'm going to be clicking on these two buttons. In order to change the font, you wanna make sure that you have the text selected or else nothing will happen. And then when we're done, we're gonna to go to the effect controls panel right here and then click on the stopwatch in front of position. As we can see, the first keyframe has already been created right here. And what we need to do is we need to move it to the back because this is where we would like the animation to end. There are two position values right here that we can change. The first one is the X or the horizontal value and the other one is the Y or the vertical value. For this example, we want the text to slide in from the left. So we're going to change the X position and we're going to drag it all the way to the left until the text is off screen. Now, if I play through this, you can see that we've created a linear animation. Now to smoothen this out, we can select both of the keyframes and then right click and click on temporal. I still don't know, temporal, temporal interpolation. I don't know. And then click on Bezier. Now the keyframes have switched from diamonds to these hourglasses. And what we need to do now is open up the position effect and then play around with the velocity curve right here until it looks good to you. The next step is to add that fade in effect. And to do this, we're going to repeating the same steps, but this time for opacity. Click on the stopwatch, then move this keyframe forward and then create another keyframe by changing the value to zero. Again, just play around with the settings and make it look exactly how you want it to. In this case, I'm gonna keep the keyframes as they are. I'm not gonna change it to Bezier because I think linear looks just fine. Now I actually created a smooth title animation pack that is super easy to use. It consists of 12 different titles that fly in from all different directions so you have something for every occasion it is really easy just drag and drop it on a timeline and everything is customizable so you can change the font the size the color but also the fly-in speed literally all you got to do is just change the text and then change the fly-in speed and you're good to go so if you want to support me and if you want to check this out there will be a link in the description and because you're still watching and I really appreciate you for that there will be a discount code right here that you can use to buy the preset pack now if you don't want to get my pack and you want to continue doing this manually, the next thing that you need to do is add directional blur. It won't exactly look the same because these presets are built differently, but it will still do the trick. If you never want to do this again and you want animations from all different directions, go check out my preset pack. Link will be in the description. And of course, if you want to support the channel for free, make sure that you hit subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what title animation you would like me to cover next.